So it's been a couple wild weeks in the NPRC. We've had races. We've had some uh, more Facebook fighting and drama and stuff. We've got a lot of products coming out, bodies and tires and just everything else. So let's try to do a quick catch up right now. So my name is Chad. This is the Dorky and 40 RC channel, and we are going to get fast on Facebook today. What is going on, my friends? Super happy to be here with you guys today. Uh, before we get into anything, I want to give a big shout out to my buddy, Tim Barth. You know, he's going through a stage three brain cancer. He has a GoFundMe. You know, Tim is a great friend of mine. He was one of the very first friends that I met in this hobby. And we enjoyed a few great weekends together. He lives, you know, a state or two away. Hopefully we can get more time together as he progresses through his treatment here. And, you know, anything that you guys can do to help add to that, a buck, two bucks, anything at all to that GoFundMe will really help him and his wife out. Um, I'm really gracious to see that, like, a lot of hobby companies and stuff have been, like, giving him products, to throwing things his way, stuff for him to do while he's going through this treatment. I mean, he's got chemo, radiation, and everything else, and all he has is just time uh, to sit around and do things. So if you guys need, like, tires glued or things built or anything like that, you know, reach out to Tim as well. Um, I'm sure he wouldn't mind doing some extra projects on the side, but uh, definitely please consider contributing to the GoFundMe. There will be a link to that at the top in the description below. Now, I'm not entirely sure what happened to this first story and stuff. Um, I think it involved like a certain call out or the way it was called out or something like that. And it had to do with uh, Mr. Vine, Mark Vine. And, uh, you know, I think he's uh, since redacted the post and all that stuff like that. And, uh, you know, it kind of seems like it's turned into, I think th there might have been just some people that didn't like the way that he worded it or whatever. Um, you know, I think Mark is just a great guy. I mean, a lot of us that have been in this for the past couple of years now really owe a lot of our start to what he did if it wasn't for his m17 videos and everything else um you know i never would have progressed as fast uh, as i did but um you know it's good to see that he's having fun out there and everything um so I don't really know what all happened and don't really care, but I know a lot, you know, we'll just say that there's definitely a lot of drama around this stuff, just like with any hobby and, uh, you know, a lot of people throwing their opinions and stuff out there and hopefully we can just all keep it clean guys and just, uh, be grateful for what you have. Because as I mentioned before about Tim, you know, I mean, your life could change in an instant. So is it really worth starting shit on Facebook with somebody about something? So, you know, everybody just give out that peace and love. Um, we've got a big uh, race coming up here on the 17th and 18th of March down in New Orleans. So they're just rocking it out down there. Alabama, New Orleans, kind of like the Southern Circle and everything right now. Pretty cool to see. Um I mentioned before that there was uh, a lot of different uh, products coming out and stuff like Voodoo, of course, is releasing their new version of the tires. That's uh, a straight wall, the same side all the way around. Uh, Cyril has got new tires coming out. There's new batteries, new bodies. There's just tons of stuff. Um, I do see a lot of people uh, selling a lot of things, uh, selling their radios, Futabas, and Sanwa. So I don't think there's anybody that's kind of going uh, back and forth. There might be a few people, but um, there's a lot of that going on. Um, Stu is still down there just cranking it out. And, I mean, a lot of the same stuff that we see, a lot of different kind of tire preps and everything like that as well. And that brings me back to another thing. You know, Josh Cyril's been putting out some nice, really good uh, safety comments out there about he put one up. I just saw earlier today about sanding carbon fiber and water to reduce dust and everything like that. And, you know, 
I'm not going to mention anything, but we, we order conditioners and stuff like that. They show up in like unmarked boxes and everything else. We don't know what's inside all of this stuff, guys. So we really do need to be taking precautions from stuff. You know, if you want to look at precautions and what rules and regulations do, you know, go on to the R1 site. R1 being in California, um, they have to declare like any type of like chemical or packaging or anything like that, like on all of their products. I swear, like you would just see the weirdest thing on just like, I don't know, like a gear. And just because that gear was coated, you know, in the factory, wherever it was produced in a certain chemical, they have to like, you know, let people know. So be very mindful of the things that you guys are getting and touching. I mean, I have a, my prep table out back that's been rained on and snowed on for months now, and I still step on the thing and my shoe would literally come off of it. I've got tire prep all over this pit bag still. It, you know, it's just, you guys know how it is. We get this stuff everywhere. We get in a hurry. We get careless and everything else. Obviously, people cannot start putting out NSDS sheets or MSDS sheets that is on everything that they make, or that would probably shut down the entire tire prep business. But again, just be mindful and a big shout out to Josh for bringing that up as well. You know, and uh, Tim has been con commenting on that uh, as well when it comes to that stuff. So good to see what's going on with the cars. I haven't seen much out of GFRP. Um, R1, I know, has got their, they have been releasing a few products. They've got uh, the whole new standoff uh, type of deal for the rear transmission, which is one solid piece. Uh, they've got the wheelie bar uh, mount, which I picked one of those up. Um, all of my cars, it, the, it's just all the pieces and everything are just sitting right here. I mean, I'm pretty much at the point right now where I'm not going to even purchase anything, I don't think, until I'm literally ready to go and hit the track because, you know, if you, the stuff is just changing so fast, these guys are constantly testing things out. And as they race and run and want to make a change, then that change just comes right back. And, you know, a couple months later, you've got, uh, you know, you've got a whole new car kit that you need to basically rebuild and buy if you want all the good stuff. Not saying that it's going to make you any faster or if it's any better, but I know I could speak from just the stuff that they did with the DC one. It just makes the DC one a more pleasurable experience to like own and work on and everything else. Um, I remember that was one of the first things I said to Steve a while ago was, I did not like those standoffs that you had to have two different screws and stuff like this. And they came loose on me and I did thread locker and it still didn't work. Um, so, you know, it's nice to see that, um, the transmission and how it cleaned up the rear end and everything. So there's kind of quality of life stuff that's out there too, to just make your whole car experience even better. And I'm sure the other manufacturers are just going to keep on following suit, um, doing things like that as well. Like I've heard that, uh, GFRP actually switched over or is switching over to metric hardware now. Like, thank God. I mean, I know they would have to redo like all their parts, but there was nothing more cringeworthy than sticking that tiny 440 up in there and just hoping that you did not snap that screw and strip that thing and just literally waste an entire chassis plate. So good to see that all this stuff is uh innovating and changing as well but i am sitting on the sideline right now unfortunately just waiting to see what happens because i'm definitely just not going to start throwing money out and being you know just burning money away just uh you know for something else or the double work like i literally was about ready to put all that stuff back on the car seeing that that part was coming out so at that point it was like Nope, ain't doing no more work on the car until I get that. And then you get a little bit further and it's like, oh, I'm not going to do any more work on the car until I get that. So yeah, that's kind of where we're at right now. At some point you do got to make the cutoff and you got to like get your car ready to race, but we're not here yet. I'm not there yet. And uh, we've got time. So 
I don't know. That's pretty much it, guys. Like, there was a lot of stuff that happened over the past couple weeks, but it's all kind of faded into the distance. Again, don't want to bring all that up. We're looking forward to the future now. 17th and 18th of March coming up at the Fire on the Bayou. Big race. Should be awesome. Um, and again, help out my buddy Tim if you guys can. So appreciate all you guys. Love you all. Peace.